Another day, another story unfolds. Good day, everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode of A Meaningful Time With Us. Your resident student nurse is on board here on Buhay, Buhay Nursing. Nursing. So I am Joffrey Hollis Jr. And together with me are my fellow group mates. I am Apple Jean Tulig. Eliza Estero. And I am Eliza May Estocapio. So, have you ever wondered how nurses cope when something unexpected happens in their workplace? And have you ever thought about how they are being protected and compensated in case um, these scenarios happen? Well, these and more about providing safe space for the nurses will be unrevealed today. Yes, that's right, Ali. For today's episode, we will talk about injury compensation and insurance, and as well as workplace safety and security, so as to enlighten our listeners, who are most likely student nurses or even professional nurses in general, who are casually listening to our podcast and curious how these things are implemented and addressed. Yup, you heard it right, guys. And to know more about this topic, we have invited a guest to join us and discuss this matter. So, are you guys excited? We bet, yes, because we are too. Let's not wait any further and call her on. Hello, ma'am. Good day. Before we start, can you please uh, introduce yourself to our listeners? Hello, good day. I am Maria Denise Estocapio. I am the team leader of NMDA Road Emergency Group, uh, TMOG office. Okay, yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am, Denise, we would like to uh, formally welcome you here and thank you for accepting our invitation to join us and, of course, spend your very precious time despite your busy schedule for uh, just for this podcast. So, and without further ado, uh, may we proceed to our agenda for today and, of course, that is to ask you our prepared questions regarding the topic mentioned. So, may we call on May to ask the first question. Yes, Joe, thank you. Okay, Ma'am Denise, are you ready? Okay, okay. To start off, we would like to ask you this first question. As part of the emergency response team, you are most likely involved with accidents along the road. How do you manage your team with regards to their safety in emergency responses as their team leader? Well, in May, there are many factors I consider when it comes to the safety of my team. Our work environment is the biggest factor out of all of them. Since there are many kinds of road, road emergency accidents, as team leader, I always give a small briefing to my team as to what we are going to deal with and the fact that there will be other factors aside from the patient and the accident that we might encounter on the road. As team leader, I will be the first one to assess and contain the team. Then I will direct my team to the team and call for additional resources in order for my team to have a smooth operating environment. All right, thank you for that answer, Miss Denise. So, moving on to our second question, Miss Ali Aliza, please. Hello, ma'am. I am Ali, and I'm going to be asking you the next question. So, have you ever encountered any situation where you experienced discrimination? Because we all know for a fact that uh, this is one of the many factors affecting the quality of care given to your clients since it brings physical, psychological, and emotional effects to nurses. How is this a guess? Okay, um, when we were trained for the job, we were told about having different kinds of patients and their different behaviors uh, when they encounter an accident themselves. Having an open mind and plenty of patients helps us understand their immediate needs. Just in case that they need a different kind of uh, a different uh, personnel uh, to talk to, we will we will be. Uh, we will make sure that they are available for our patients. We will always keep in mind of the scope of our work and that we do it to the best of our ability. 
Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, that's really good to hear that uh, you're able to handle uh, stressful situations like this very well. So, to add, as a part of the emergency response team, you can only do so much and cannot guarantee life. So, how do you handle or cope with casualties? All right. Um, within our team, there is always a time for a daily debriefing. We gather in one place. Everyone is open to discuss any underlying issues and troubles we encounter. That also includes the stresses that we accumulate during, uh, during various emergency responses. It's important that we keep a very good interpersonal relationship within the team in order for us to have a very good team play during our work. And being their team leader, it is also my job to monitor each of my colleagues and to address their concerns as soon as possible. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so the next question will be coming from Joe Fred. Yeah, uh, that is really nice to know. No? So it gets more interesting as we hear a lot more about from um, Mam Denise about on her perspective or what they do in the workplace. So to ask you the next question, po, so how do you ensure a functioning healthcare system in your institution or in your area given that your nature of work is vulnerable to injury such as violence and stigma while performing orders. So are, are there any compensations for this? And do you think this is enough to cover up the accident and prevent it from happening again? In our line of work, our job will always have risk. And that includes uh, injuries, violence, and discrimination. Prevention is always our priority. Having a safe environment is crucial in a profession in order for us to work properly. Should there be any unfortunate situations such as injuries during work, then we direct ourselves to the nearest partner hospitals our agency has. Our agency always has another medical team on standby for us as well as another hospital uh, for us to direct ourselves just in case an unfortunate situation happens. Okay, ma'am. Uh, I really admire what you've answered. And uh, it's nice to hear that you always um, prioritize prevention over other concerns. And you also considered collaboration just in case Yung nga, emergency happens and if it's not uh, or if it's beyond uh, your capabilities. So, um, for the next question. I agree with Joe. Okay, we are down to the last question. We have pre prepared for you, ma'am. Here it is. It now since the pandemic hit us. What problems did you observe and witness that affected the workforce or the nurses the most? What actions did you or your institution do to find a solution to resolve this? I believe stress is the biggest problem. For us nurses, the stress coming from the fact that we are dealing with a fast-spreading virus and that it may be passed on to our family. The stress from an increased workload due to the lack of workforces or the stress from long hours of work. Many more, actually. Within our agency, we have a monthly health inspection for our well-being. Uh, all, all personnel are directed to the medical facility for that. And then, as, we, as I said before, we have a separate medical team in charge of our, uh, in charge of our COVID-related issues, as well as vaccination. For our offices, we check our daily temperature. We are instructed to wear face masks all the time to keep our spaces clean. And should we experience any sign of symptoms of COVID, we are directed. We are to direct ourselves to the medical team to be tested out and to plan for isolation. That way, we ensure that our workforces are well on their way to recovery, just in case they contracted the, uh, a disease. And we are all stress-free or at the very least have minimal stress in order for us to work. 
Oh, yes. Maybe we could all agree to what Ma'am Denise have said. Since our actions were limited due to stressful situation, and at the same time, it can affect our actions in dealing with our patients. Um, Joe Fred? Uh, yeah, I agree with that. So, wow, I lost track of time and I thought we had just started our conversation with Ma'am Denise. Um, it was so fast, right? Uh, but we cannot deny the fact that we have learned so much from you, ma'am, and from the perspective that you were able to uh, show us. Um, it was indeed informative and it was also nice to know that uh, there are still actions that are being done to solve uh, this kind of issues of uh, or the issue of work-related injuries, which is uh, their way to provide nurses a safe environment to uh, work on. So before um, wrapping this episode, ma'am, do you have um, some advice for our listeners, especially our student nurse who will soon transition to registered nurses? Okay. Um, my only advice is to take care of your own personal well-being since you will be, since you will graduate soon, there will be times that you will feel stressed about uh, about your new environment being a student and being the workforce uh, the workforce is very different it is advisable to keep yourself safe and to watch out for your well-being just to make sure that you go on all right thank you for that ma'am i am sure that our student nurses are enlightened by this advice and somehow are motivated to become part of the work in their future. What can you say about it, Ali and Apple? Can you give us some of your takeaways from this episode? Um, for me, uh, first, I would like to thank Ma'am Denise for um, coming and uh, willingly uh, let us interview her. So, uh, I really learned a lot today, but most especially, I learned that it's really important to know what you're doing even um, when you are under stressful situations because um, as a emergency responder and to us future registered nurses it's really important that um, we don't let uh, we don't let get our thoughts of our uh, get ahead of us so we should always make sure that uh, we know what we are doing and we keep calm in uh, every stressful situations that we are in. Apple? Okay, on my end, I think that as future nurses, what we have discussed today was very essential for future use, uh, especially that we are entering a real world and facing uh, real patients. Joe Fred? Yeah. I agree to both of you. Um, and, you know, what a good way to end this episode, right? So, sadly, it is time to part ways, guys. We hope that you were able to absorb a lot of helpful information about our topic, uh, injury compensation and insurance, and uh, workplace safety and security from our guest, of course, Ma'am Denise Estocapio. So, again, thank you for spending your time with us, Ma'am. And... Um, to you, our dis- dear listeners. So this has been your um, Opa Juju, uh, Joffred Holles. Your future nurse, Apple Jim Dulig. And yours truly, Eliza Estero. And me, Eliza May Estocapio. And together, we continue providing everyone, especially aspiring and professional nurses, another story to ponder on. Stay tuned for the next episode. This is... Buhay, Buhay nursing. nursing.